Grab the unit, open it up, and let's look through it together. If this is the first CFLM unit that you've ever done, it might look quite different than a textbook, if that's what you're used to. And it's meant to be different. The Context for Learning units are written to help you run powerful math workshops. So the guide is written for you. It's not a text that you're going to um, use or handouts that you're going to give to kids to have them practice things that you will have explained. Instead, the resource is written to help you run a powerful map workshop. So open it up. Let's browse through it together. You will see that the unit begins with an overview of the mathematics, and there will be other sections on this platform that you can go to to help you with the math. So let's skip that for now. As you move into the section of the unit that says day one, you'll see that it will give you a brief outline of the day of what you're going to do, and then it's going to give you tips on how to develop the context, the investigation, sending kids off, and how to move around the room and confer. There will be tips on how to confer in powerful ways. And then you'll be bringing the children back, usually for a gallery walk, where they read each other's work. And then you will be holding a math congress. And there are tips in the unit each time you have a congress on what to look for in children's work, tips on what might good pieces be that you could pick to orchestrate and facilitate powerful math discussions, discussions that will benefit the whole community. The unit begins with children measuring for the first bench. The first bench is actually five and a half feet. So the tool that children are given is a strip, and the strip is one foot, and they can iterate that five times along the strip that is the length of, of how long the bench will be. But the piece that's left is not enough and it's shorter than the foot. And so children usually work out ways to fold the paper and discover that it's actually five and a half feet. Then on day, then there's a Congress held on day two. On day three, the children are given strips for two more benches, the benches that will go on the left and the bench that will go on the bench that will go on the left and the bench that will go on the right. One bench ends up being five and a fourth, and the other bench ends up being five and a third. And if you think about those numbers, it's kind of intriguing because there is the third of the foot, which will be four inches, and the fourth of the foot, which will be three inches. And there will be some lively discussion in your classroom around the numbers and what's happening. And then as the unit moves into the second week, you will have, your children will have opportunities to actually build a ruler. Now they will once again be given the strip and they're gonna have to work out ways to fold to come up with exactly where the inches will be. So now there's some very interesting folding that happens. The half, a half of a half is a fourth. What if you fold that fourth into three equal pieces? Now a third of a fourth gives us a twelfth. And so you can see there are ways that the children can figure out exactly where to make the marks on the strip of paper to ensure that they are marking carefully and have a tool that they can really measure with. And then towards the end of the unit, there's some games, um, there's number line work, and there are lovely mini lessons all the way through the unit as well that will support children's fluency with early fractions. Enjoy the unit.